Welcome to the Homesteaders of America YouTube channel. We are so happy that you are joining us here. We are getting ready for a week-long series called How to Grow Your Own Food <laughs> um, in uncertain times and even in not uncertain times. There are a lot of people that don't know how to grow their own food or maybe you've been gardening or homesteading for years. I'm pretty sure you're going to learn something this week no matter if you've never done it before or if you're just thinking you might know how to do it all. I think there's something for everyone in this week's series. So the thought behind this series, uh, we are joining with homesteaders from across the nation and our thought process is that we are here to help others learn how to homestead. So we're scratching the basis, basics this week on things like how to grow a garden, what type of garden methods are there? If you don't have space for a garden, what do you do? You look for different areas to, to go or do you grow on your patio? We're actually gonna go over that in this video here today. But I wanted to talk a little more about the series first. We are combining topics like how to make cheese, how to make a simple loaf of bread, something as simple as crops that we should grow in a crisis situation that some of us may not even know about, uh, how to plant lettuces and greens. Those are simple things that anyone can do no matter where you live, and that's the beauty of it all. We are hoping that this series will help empower you, inspire you, and encourage you to take control of your food source. We are in a beautiful country, but sometimes our food system can fail us. And if we only knew how easy it was to grow our own food, I think a lot more of us would be doing it. Back in war times, people were encouraged to plant victory gardens in cases of food shortages or in case we weren't able to import food from other countries. And that's exactly where we are today. We have the opportunity, no matter where we live and no matter what we believe, no matter what our politics are or our religion or our race, we are all in this together. And we can all grow our own food, but not only that, we can grow enough food to help feed our communities as well. So in this series, we wanna encourage you to grow your own food. And if you don't know how, we're not gonna make fun of you. We're gonna show you how. Starting today on March 23rd, running through this Saturday on March 28th, every day will be a different set of YouTubers and a different set of topics that you can learn about. Come here to the Homesteaders of America YouTube channel every single morning to see what our video is about and for some encouragement as well. And then we're gonna tell you which YouTubers and which topics are happening today. From this channel, you can find the other channels in the, in the description below and click on their channel name to find their video for this week. We'll also put the topic beside their name as well. So today is Monday, and today on our YouTube channel in this video, we're actually gonna talk about choosing your garden type or how you can garden where you are. That's a really important thing to learn about because a lot of people don't think that they can garden if they live in an apartment or in a place that doesn't have a yard. I actually currently live on a half acre. Um, we've lived on a half acre for years and years and years and gardened here and produced a lot of our own food in many ways. Um, this series isn't just about gardening, it's actually about dairy and meat animals as well. And so growing your own food source from every situation and location. So that's gonna be today on the HOA YouTube channel. We're also going to do how to decide how much food to grow for your family. So that's something that I know I need to learn about. Melissa K. Norris is gonna be doing that on her channel. She's gonna be walking you through the family garden and how to figure out how much food your family needs for an entire year from your garden. Next up is Cog Hill Farm. Uh, that family is amazing. We love them. They're coming to conference in 2020. They are going to talk to you about starting seeds. Now, late, they live in a warm climate, um, but this seed starting is can be happening anywhere. And he shows you how to do it with just some cheap lights from the store that you can buy. Likewise, Lumna Acre is, is coming to us from a colder climate, and he's going to show you how to start seeds in his location as well. 
And then finally today, Anaceta Scott from A Farm Girl in the Making, she is teaching us what to grow by season. Some of us need to understand this a little bit more and you might be a newbie and you not have any idea what I'm talking about and that's okay because Anna is gonna show you what to plant in the spring, summer, fall, and winter and how you can make the most of your garden through every single season. Don't forget, we have different topics every day. Some topics coming up are sourdough, how to mill your own grains, how to raise chickens no matter where you live, um, poultry that you can grow on your homestead, uh, meat chickens, meat rabbits, quail, even hog raising on, you know, even in a small space, um, gardening, cooking, recipes. Guys, we're gonna have it all. And it's all 100% completely free for you this week. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you can get notified of our video every morning when it posts and you can come here and find the topics and the YouTube channels in the description below. So getting started with our topic today, and then we'll do a quick closeout. This is just gonna be a quick video encouraging you to garden and homestead where you are. I constantly get asked questions about, you know, living in a small space, not being able to garden or homestead. Well, there's options around that. Likewise, I get questions about how do you even start gardening on a big property? There's a lot of different options for you when it comes to gardening and growing your own food. And remember, if you can't grow your own food or don't feel like you can, there's always somebody around you that's growing their own food or utilizing the farmer's market is another great option. So for starters, if you feel like you absolutely have no space to garden uh, or your landlord won't let you garden on your property, we have community gardens all across the nation, not Homesteaders of America specifically, but communities across the world have community gardens. I know our local community garden is at our local feed store. They actually have plots of land that you can use for free. It's a first come first serve basis where you can plant a garden there all on your own. So that's an option if you feel like you just absolutely cannot do any gardening where you are. Your next method of gardening is patio gardening. For years, I did patio gardening. Uh, even though we have a half acre, I was just not comfortable enough planting something in the ground. So I used five gallon buckets or planters, or nowadays there's even um, vertical gardeners, which we are gonna talk about in another video, um, like the green stock gardener, where you can have it right on your deck or your patio, even in a small apartment. You would be amazed by the amount of food you can get from, from container gardening. Big tomato plants, pepper plants, all kinds of things that you can grow in five gallon buckets. So don't let it discourage you just because you don't have land that you might not be able to garden. You absolutely can. There are three other methods which do require you to have some land. There's market rows, raised bed gardening, and back to Eden gardening. Those are more in-depth topics that we might be able to get to this week, I'm not sure, but there are plenty of videos on YouTube that I encourage you to check out. On our homestead, we really enjoy doing market rows. This means that we've tilled the ground at least once and we've made big rows about six inches deep, if not deeper, and there's walkways in between them. We have found that this is the best method for us and our soil, it grows great, it allows deep roots, and it um, it's, it's just a really, productive method for us that we've really enjoyed. Now, the next method is raised bed gardening and Janet Garman from Timber Creek Farm, she's actually gonna touch on that this week. It's great for elderly people. It's great for people with, um, uh, you know, hurts, pains, aches and pains, um, who don't wanna get into the ground and it helps you garden where you are, no matter your age. But it's also convenient for those of us who are younger too. Uh, less weeds, more produce in some ways, uh, especially if you've had trouble planting things like gar uh, carrots or potatoes. Um, they do great in raised garden beds. So Janet is actually gonna show you this week how to do that in a very simple way and how she does it on her, her homestead in Maryland. And the final way is back to Eden gardening. This is a no-till method where you just put your plants in the ground and you cover it heavily with wood chips or mulch. This is an increasingly popular method that we're finding. It's, it's very efficient, um, but it does have difficulties as well. So make sure you research that heavily. Uh, if you're concerned about tilling into the ground, if you don't own your own home, uh, this is a good method for you if you're you're wanting to garden, but the patio method isn't enough for you. So this is a good method where you're not actually ruining the ground. You're actually helping it 
creating a really great ecosystem for bugs and worms and other animals. Um, and then if you have to pick up and leave, if you're renting a property, you can clean it all up very quickly and just plant grass seed over it and be done with it. All right, guys, that was just a surface scratch of what you're going to learn about this week. I wanted to show you that you can garden no matter where you are, whether you have to utilize a community garden, do a patio garden, or if you have a lot of land and want to do different methods of gardening. I wanted to make you aware of what they are because a lot of people don't know that there's different methods of gardening. Now that you know, knowledge is power and you can go out and research even more. Or just wait till this week is over, I'm pretty sure your questions are gonna be answered. In the midst of it all though, we truly hope that you take away the empowerment of being able to grow your own food. When my husband and I were starting to get into homesteading, what caused us to get into homesteading was a recession. We didn't have a lot of money at the time and we needed food. And so we started dabbling into homesteading, getting chickens, starting a small garden. Uh, I did not know what I was doing in gardening, even though I grew up around it. I, I didn't know, and it was a learning process. And I want you to remember that. Your garden this year is not gonna be anything like your garden three years from now. It took me a good three years to really understand gardening and accept losses and accept failures, but they happen and it makes you a better gardener. So if you want something to last a long time, you're gonna have to work at it, but I promise it is worth it, completely and totally worth it. And if you're overwhelmed during this time and you wanna start homesteading or gardening or raising your own food, we're all here to help you. That's basically what we're trying to say. We're not here to mock you or laugh at you. We wanna encourage you along your journey. So make sure if you need somebody or you have questions to just let us know and we'll be here. All right guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification button, that way you can get notified of our videos every single day, starting March 23rd today through Saturday, March 28th for new videos on how to grow your own food. Make sure you share with all of your friends and family. This is gonna be a great series. We hope you have a great day and happy homesteading.